Hello, I'm Charles Weaver with MSP News. Welcome. I am joined by Barry Phillips, Chief Marketing Officer of Winova, and we are going to be talking about uh, many things today, but uh, why don't you start by giving us a little bit, a bit of background on Winova and what you guys do. Sure, sure, and thanks for having me. Yeah. So Winova Mirage, it's our product. We have a software solution. It's a turnkey software solution. It enables MSPs to be cloud providers, so enabled to manage desktops from the cloud but really with a variety of different services all in one single platform. Things like uh, image and patch management, uh, complete DR of the entire PC, not just the files, but actually the entire machine itself. Doing things like Windows 7 migration, hardware refreshes, software, ab software inventory reporting, uh, hardware asset reporting, you know, all from one single solution. Other nice thing is that it allow allows MSPs to have you know, integrated break fix support right into the product. So they can do everything centrally instead of sending people to site. So you've fused, maybe if I could say this, the desktop virtualization, the VDI concept, but you've also taken uh, backup and storage and, and, and almost added that to it. Is that uh, fair? Uh... Yeah, yeah. So VDI was great in the fact that it, uh, it, it kind of introduced this whole concept of central image management. You bring everything into the network operations center and manage one copy of everything. We do the same sort of thing, but we allow users to operate on a real PC, a desktop or a laptop. So when you think of doing things like multimedia applications, operating over a LAN or a WAN or operating over no connection whatsoever, uh, it kind of gives the best of both worlds. Uh, MSPs get the ability to centrally manage desktops. Uh, users get the ability to actually use real PCs. So this has got to have some tremendous uh, benefits to service providers of you know, MSPs, cloud providers, uh, VARs getting into the, uh, to the space uh, of really lowering the uh, cost or the expense of managing desktop, which has traditionally been a very uh, erratic uh, cost center for a lot of service providers. Is that something that you're seeing with your own partners? Yeah, we're seeing that. And it's really common, a combination of three things. The first one is they get to increase revenue because they get to now offer a variety of new services with one single platform. So all those things that I mentioned before without having separate cost structures, separate people to manage each one of those particular features or uh, services in a catalog. Uh, the second piece is the fact that um, it's truly uh, really a centrally cloud managed service. So you do have the ability to manage everything centrally, no sending people on site. Um, the other nice thing about it is um, one of the things we do when you centralize an image, and, and we actually use layering. So, so once the image is centralized and it's layered, uh, a service provider or MSP can actually do things like replace out the base image while leaving the rest of the PC the same. And we, and we operate very efficiently over the network. We integrate deduplication and synchronization together. So I can effectively, if somebody has a virus, just replace out their Windows image uh, with very, very little uh, time to do it and very little data that's transferred uh, and be able to do that all from a central cloud piece. Same thing happens when you're doing broken application registry issues. So you're able to do um, you know, everything centrally, fewer people to do it, and less technical people to do it. So it ends up being less cost for them. And you know, without promising uh, necessarily uh, that this is going to happen in every instance, but you were, you were talking to me before about some of the uh, deployment times. If you were out in the field and you had a corrupt uh, OS image and you needed to have this uh, redeployed, uh, can you give us a sense of you know, like how quickly they, you know, a user could expect that to be uh, up and running? Yeah, the great thing is I mentioned the synchronization that happens, and that's really two-way. So in the case you're talking about, if I have somebody in a hotel, for example, who has a, an issue with their image, you know, so, so what happens is we will go back to the last known snapshot, only of that layer that we have, uh, or we'll just you know, have the, the actual core image that IT manages day to day, and we'll push that out to that particular user. But the only thing we send down is the difference between what's already there and what we're sending off. So it may be a 10 gigabyte logical replacement, but we may be only sending across 200 megabytes and then we'll compress that. So we have some great videos on our website right in the home page, and at the end of them you can actually see the time it takes as well um, as the amount of data that we send across. That's actually good. If, if people want to go to uh, winova.com to see those videos there, they're actually pretty helpful to understand the, the, the technical nuances of what you guys do, because it really is uh, kind of special. Um, but I, I just, I, I keep getting back to this has got to be a, you're right, a great revenue stream for, for MSPs and service providers and, and want to be cloud providers who want to get into cloud uh, desktop management, but um, just reducing costs and actually being able to make money 
off of managing desktops now. I mean, th this seems like it's a uh, almost a game changer uh, for for people in that space. Yeah, and, and it is. It does make them actually makes MSPs profitable in desktop management, and that's something that's pretty unusual out there. And it's one of the things we hear, you know, pretty consistently because now I once again have all the different services, one single platform, but then I can reduce the number of people that I need to manage them as well as do all the technical support pieces. So if you start looking into you know, what it takes to do things like uh, complete DR, desktop management, uh, Windows 7 migration by itself is, is really, really expensive, hardware refreshes. All those individually are separate services that a service provider can charge for, or they can bundle everything together and, and offer one single piece. But the great thing is you know, the, the underlying management and support is quite inexpensive. And it, and it sounds like it, it's I'm not a technical person necessarily, but it sounds like it's pretty easy to manage. So that you know, there's a there's a huge convergence, as everyone knows, of of telephony vars and integrators entering the cloud and managed services uh, profession. So it, it seems like this would be a natural first step for them to build that cloud managed services practice is getting into desktop management with uh, the, you know a, a Winova type of tool. Yeah, yeah, and when you think of you know what's the kind of next thing that that companies really want to outsource, right? Desktop management. It's just not something that's integral to, to an, an in customer, in company's um, need you know, to actually manage. There's other strategic projects that they can work on. Desktop management is not one of those. So they're looking for people to outsource that to, and Winova has just a great solution that's very simple for MSPs to get into this. And once again, offers just a, you know, a, a, a lot of different services, really, with, uh, with very, very little in terms of management and support. Uh, for, for those who don't know, what is your, you know, What's your real key demographic in terms of size of MSPs and cloud providers? You know, what type of installations are we talking about? Is this SMB ready? Is it more mid-market, enterprise? Uh, where do you fall into? Yeah, we, we see pretty much everybody. Um, you know, from customer perspective, we have SMBs that use it. Uh, and we also, you know, have, you know, you know, companies with, you know, multiple thousands uh, of users. So, so from both an MSP who serves SMBs uh, you know, all the way up to, to, you know, enterprise, it actually is a great solution for them. Excellent. So what's on the horizon without giving us too much, uh, you know, sensitive or proprietary stuff? I mean, what, where do you see desktop management heading in the future? Um, you know, are we going into tablets? Are we getting into some, you know, new areas that we haven't seen before for the MSPs? Yeah, I think tablets are probably the next sort of step that's out there. But tablets bring up a really interesting point. And when you think of, for example, an iPad, you know, there's probably close to 100,000 apps that are actually on the iPad itself. So I think it's going to be a combination of um, using the apps that are on there, but being able to access the data that you may have on your PC. Uh, and so that's one of the things that you can do uh, with Winova in the next release, is be able to access all of your data that's on your PC, but do that on your iPad so you can manipulate the data locally. Uh, and then you know be able to bring that back into your your PC at some point if you need to. Something tells me a lot of MSPs are going to be pretty happy about that feature. Yeah, it's a great solution. You can actually see that one also on our website too. Great. Well, if you have any uh, inf any questions, you want to learn a little bit more about Wanova, go to Wanova.com. That's right. W-A-N-O-V-A.com, and uh, check out the uh, videos and uh, see what they're all about. Barry, thank you very much. Great. For thank being you, with Charles. Us. Appreciate it.